So with our lights and camera setup, we are going to learn in this video about materials. So in the previous video, I have told you that uh, we are going to see how much the scene is going to take render for us for now. So it's taking 7 minutes and 52 seconds for us. So let's get started with adding materials in our scene. For now, I'm not going to increase the subdivisions of light cache or light here. Uh, we will see it after adding materials. So let's get started with the materials. So let's get to perspective view. And I don't want to, to disturb my lights or my camera. So let's go to show. Don't show lights to me. Don't show cameras to me. Okay. That's it. So let's get started with curtains because I've told you about its function. So we have added a video two sided material to it. So let's actually create uh let's add something different here and add some textures to our curtain so i'm going to hyper shade and metal mouse button drag and drop video material here and just going to name this one um, curtain matex okay so let's add a file to it File here. Let's see which kind of cloth file can be. I think this one is looking good. Uh, white curtain. Okay, let's add that. So we have got that. But uh, this video material is not attached anyhow to our curtain. So we are going to attach this. Uh, just select the curtain, go to its front side material we are going to right click in on front material break connections and take this video material middle mouse drag and apply it to front material and if we hit 6 I think you can see that you can see here that it's actually quite small as in texture so let's increase its repetitions so repeat UV 10 by 10 my texture here is seamless so this will work great okay so they are applied to both of them now we will add materials to other things so let's get started with these uh, I want to add same material to the curtain hanger to this rings around here to I think these locks uh, because I want this drawers to be wooden types and these locks and spans to be some brown materials so always remember while materialing or texturing the scene you have to have uh, when you are ha going to have some common materials all over the scene select them and apply the material let's apply sign new material uh, plain video material no, not something fancy so what I'm going to name it, uh, let's name it brown mat. simple color. So for this, I'm not going to use diffuse color directly. What I'm going to use is this button and add a ramp to it and a ramp and just deleting other colors of ramp and having a single color on my ramp. And now here I will add my brown color. Why I am doing this because it's actually like some more darker because I want I think not this one yeah this this is it yeah this brown okay why I'm adding this because I want there to use some gamma correction notes in my scene which I will tell you later so some more things like this will be brown so. As I have named my material, so I can easily find them. So brown, brown them, brown this, brown that. Okay. Now let's add the woods to my. Okay, sorry. Let's add wood to my drawers. These are drawers. And right click, sign new material, video material, uh, wood mat. Because this is going to be wooden texture. So file and I have wooden texture I think yeah no, not this one this one's here. 
Let's see which one. Yeah, this is good. So I'm going to add this. Uh, my models are correctly UV'd, so they are going to look good. Right. Uh, I think these are not functioning well. This is coming white. Let's see if they have brown matte. Yeah, they have brown matte. That's why they are not appearing. Let's see if they come in render. So for now, our drawers are textured. Now, what should be next? Uh, I think these lamps. So since the lamps are going to act just as our curtains, like getting the light from inside and uh, projecting them outside. So let's assign a new material, a very two-sided material to them and name it lamp shade, not shade you, shade mat. Okay, add a front side material, V-ray material and let's name this uh, lamp of zerb, lamp, I think lamp mat will be good. Okay. Then let's add a color to it. If you want to add a color or you can add a texture. So for now I'm going to add a color. So same thing. Go to here. Uh, RAM. Add a RAM. And give it a color like you want. So let's give it a color of blue. Uh, some cool colors in the bedroom so you can sleep easily in the nights. This is the material, I think lampshade mat. Okay, this is good. Now, next, what's next? Let's complete this. Okay, so what could be here? We can add here. I think we can add this same brown material to them also. And in the brown material, actually, now if I am going to add it here, we will add some reflection to it. So, brown mat. Uh, since it's a metal, we are not. Uh, uh, I think reflection. We will add some reflection first. So let's add reflection. I want some diffused glossiness. So let's decrease the value of glossiness. So more reflection. I think this much would be good. Okay. Now this this will this area is completed. Um, next is let's complete the lamp here. The downside also. Let's add a plain black. To it so sign new material video material uh, black mat okay and again uh, while adding colors use RAM don't directly add colors from the diffuse value so let's add a black okay not so much a black side of the gray okay then that's this is completed Okay, now the bigger part, our walls. So let's select the walls. Uh, I'm not selecting the ceiling because I want it a different color and my walls are different color. Don't left anything, uh, any object in your scene empty. Why? Uh, without materials because materials actually help in simulating lights. Okay. So if you have reflection, light will be get reflected. If it has refraction, light will get reflected. So they help in simulating the other situations. So I'm making sure that I'm not selecting the ceiling. Just right click, assign new material, plain video material, and name it wall mat, mat, mat. And let's add a ramp. Mm, ramp. Go off, go off and yellow and not that much of yellow but a pale yellow color okay that's it i think these are signs of that ball mat ball mat okay i don't know why they are not coming here why they are not showing in my viewport but no problem okay so what are left i think ceiling is left so sign new material video material ceiling mat and I am going to have it a white color so not that white color again ramp 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 white give me white okay white that's white and 
left are these books and these bed cushions and photo frames so let's get with photo frames but i'm not going directly to bed because i have to make some custom selections there so let's select these and this is going to be a sanding material video material and photo pick mac okay then here file i think this one which one this one okay this one will be my photo let's adjust it because it's not looking good like that the coverage yeah just on that cover it yeah the cover it well so scroll it down up yeah this will do i think i should translate my frame okay this will do good actually somehow bigger no not that come down here yeah this is good now and i think okay i have white mat for me for black okay uh these borders are going to be black so let's select the borders like this okay and i want them to be black borders so let's i have a working black material or oh, black not black okay it's black okay so my spelling mistakes are getting heavy like black material that's it and uh, these leftover areas i think they will be white material for me white they will look good okay so let's assign new material video material and white again white so i think i have white somewhere so not that video material but i'm going to right click assign existing material i think ceiling is white so let's assign that here into white same here so we have to do things manually somewhere robotics is not available so let's get this over with we have to assign the black okay the whites the blacks the whites the blacks the whites chest game ceiling uh here uh, we have to assign a new material why because this is this bird is facing this direction i want the other bird to appear here so assign new material video material hmm. photo pick to mat from some wrong selections i think i have done uh, let me, let's assign the file first PNG, I think this is so. It's sorry. It's stretch down. Hey, get it covered fast. Okay, I think this will do good. Okay, I think my border edge selections have also been gone white. So let's add black to them. black okay now this is done completely what's next so the leftover is bed so for the bed and uh, for the whole scene you can see i have used over the walls i have used a bright color so for the beds we are going to use bright colors only so for these no, so let's start from the back for these because uh, you can see these three cushions are different from each other these three rows actually so we will assign three different materials to those rows so video material think below one mat okay and file and if you not these this is right i think this will do look good in the mid part and this one, no, this one, I think this one will look good. Okay, so let's assign that. 
that's okay now just assign a material to here <coughs> so video material this is going to be pillow 2 mat and let's assign the brightest one yellow one to this pillows i think this one okay this one and the last one layer will be over pillow 3 mat <coughs> i have some cranking voice so okay. not this you are not looking good not you not you you are looking good okay so let's assign you yep you are looking good okay so those are done let's see boundaries so this is different oh my models are different okay they are not one model okay no problem this is one okay this is one and this is one so and let's see what this okay he is different he is different okay so first of all let's okay select my floor i have not done flooring and build everything up so video material floor so floor mat actually so we would want wooden furnished floor so let's add file and oh, yeah, you will, yeah, yeah. Some more darker. I think I have one darker floor for me. Where are you? Okay, this one is darker one. Okay, so this will be okay. Yep, nicely scaled. So since it's going to be furnished and uh, some matte finish is going to be there so let's add some reflection and i think point eight more reflection no more diffusion i think okay not point six point seven yeah this much of diffusion is good i think some more diffusion will be required yeah now this will that's good mm this much of reflection okay this much of reflection will be there so this is also going to be brown because i have made my furnitures with same carpenter so he used the same material for everything okay now wood for him and i want the frame of my bed to be wooden and the cushion here like this in the between of this this cushion will be matching to the sides of these mattresses so let's find new material video material this is going to be bed uh, cage i think mat okay then we will assign the lighter border this one actually okay so it's looking good no it's not looking good no it's actually looking good if we have to make some adjustments i think or let's see if i have another work or we have to just work with that table wood i think we have to work with this because this is doing a seam yeah this is not doing giving us seams anywhere nearly every, not everywhere so i think this will do good okay so let's uh yeah let's assign this wooden material everywhere so double click select assign existing material bed cage mat this move to this faces sign existing material bed cage mat same here sign new material bed cage mat but for the change as these boundaries doesn't look like the drawers i am going to add some reflection over my wood so bed cage some minor reflections uh, diffuse glossiness okay then these cushions uh, cushioning in the bed sign new material uh, let's add 
cushions bed okay bed and mat bed mat diffuse color file let's add cushion whatever cushion will look like i think this is good let's see if we have another options no 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 so where is it yeah this will do good for the cushions yep that's looking good now same for these and since cushion is not going to have any reflection so we are going to left it like that oh curtain max not curtain max cushion mat cushion bed max okay and as i have said we are going to have some matching materials in our scene and the bed is going to match the mattresses over it so we will apply the same cushion mat to so this is completed now we will select this mattress over here and apply the same cushion material over here so i am going to have it isolated first going to front view and for the selection purpose for so that i can easily select the faces i need and select it like this marquee selection and assign existing cushion bed then we will have this one matching with the, the matching with things like this mattress and this one so let's okay go to front face oh sorry i have done something wrong yeah now uh, we have to again isolate it go to its front view and face uh, i think this much area will do good okay uh, now we have to do some of the labor work go on add non-selected areas because if they are left like that only they will not look good okay so like that you have to make some minor selections over here so you have to do it by hook or tooth you have to do it there is no escape from this because when you are going to work with highly detailed meshes you have to have some patience while working with them so this okay this okay i think we are nearly we have nearly completed our selections if you are experiencing some difficulties then you are learning if you are not then it's like you know everything so if you have any kind of doubts uh, in any of my videos you can obviously ask them in comment section and i will reply to you as soon as possible so our selection is now complete and right click assign new material video material and uh, uh, this is going to be updated okay i think still some faces are left okay some faces are still left so first of all let's rename this and name this mattress mat and we are going to assign same ramp and a color to it so file sorry not file actually um, actually we can add a file i have i think a file for it uh this one no not looking good this one no this is for the curtain so let's add color only okay 
let's add brake connections and have a ramp let's actually left it to that and get the leftover selections first so because with the black I can see what are the leftovers I think it's not going to be view viewable in front so now just we have to click one two three four you are not added you are not added you are not added let's add you to our team black team get to my black team you 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 why are you left over i have to select you separately see how much work you have given me yeah i work with i talk with my work a lot because it not let me feel alone okay i think those are the only leftovers so let's give you let's add you to our not black sorry i have added them to black not black go to mattress 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 here yeah, mattress okay so mattress get your color so go to ramp add a ramp and add a yellow pale yellow matching to our walls somehow matching to our walls i think this would look good okay so that's for our mattress now just select your mattresses and add that same material to them uh, one thing I need I think I need to add some bump because I need this to look like a cloth so mattress and we are going for bump so let's add bump and the bump will be that curtain texture I think yep this one and I think this is too much so but in the render this will not look like that so I will go and add it to so this will do for us I think that's everything for this scene and no some ceramic materials are well so let's add very quickly materials to them so let's add this brown and have I think these are ceramics so we have to make a new ceramic material for them so video material and uh, ceramic oh. ceramic mat no me mat okay so for this let's add sorry again not file I've been too much used to getting add files so let's add a white color and I'm going to have some reflection over there because it's a ceramic and some diffuse reflection of I think 0.8 will do 0.8 okay uh, this reflects this much of reflection or some less this much of reflection okay so that's it for now I'm going to delete these books because it's taking too much time to get our scene and this is how the materials are going to be look like in our scene and I'm going to pause the video and hit the render button uh, I'm, uh, I have left this carpet to see uh, if any noise is still in the scene so let's meet after I render the scene and see how much render time have been increased and how much of artifacts have been gone already so as you can see our render is now nearly complete so let's see how much time does it take to get completed so after adding the materials our render time has been increased to 13 minutes from 7 minutes so let's compare what are the changes as you can see there are nearly no patches in our scene there are still some light leaks but we can control it and in the next video we will see how to get rid of all the problems in our scene so as you can see in the low quality settings and in these settings only we are getting very good ambient occlusion so we don't need i think them but we have some burning problems over curtains so we will see how to get rid of those 
I think everything is fine up till now. Our render time is also very less, 13 minutes. So in the next video, we will see how to get rid of these noises, these light leaks and the burning problem etc. So everything problem in the scene, every problematic things, we will get rid of those. So meet you in the next video.